Perfect, perfect tonight. Nordic ways as always uh, with our friends from Shido Finance. Uh, is it Shido or Shido? What's the correct pronunciation, Bjorn? And welcome. Yeah, that's the classic question. Uh, me myself, I say <laughs> <laughs> I say Shido, but uh, Shido, okay. Okay. Shido is actually uh, Shido is actually the correct one to be honest because uh, it's Japanese and they and they say Shido. That's awesome. So welcome, Bjorn, officially to our group. It's a pleasure to to have you here tonight. And uh, yeah, so again, uh, uh, you guys, we were talking about uh, uh, about you guys in the chat. I guess that pretty much everyone here had, had the chance to, uh, to scrap the surface uh, uh, of the project. We will be dealing with the details of the project uh, in a while, in a little while. But first, uh, uh, would you please mind uh, to talk uh, about yourself a bit uh, and uh, as well maybe uh, let us know who are the other member of the team and who's working on the project with you. Yeah, absolutely. Um, it's a pleasure to be here. It's um, I'm from Sweden myself and uh, this mm -hmm. is a Nordic group so it's, uh, uh, I enjoy it very much. Um, no, myself. I have a I have a background in e-commerce. Uh, I have uh, mm -hmm. been working in e-commerce. I, I did work in it for fifteen years almost. Uh, so I started okay. early in e-commerce. Uh, it's not when I started it. It was not uh, like it is today. You know, when you was gonna get like a payment solution, you went down to the bank and you signed the papers. You know, and now you can get started with e-commerce with just a click. You know. Um, but I so see I what you mean. Yes. Yeah. So, um, so I, uh, I worked with uh, different uh, projects and also started a few brands and uh, yeah, worked with it a long time until I came uh, into crypto, which was more or less uh, three years ago. But in the beginning, it was just you know trading a, a bit on Binance and then. Pretty fast came into DFI and then mm -hmm. uh, since then only been in DFI. And then for, I don't know, maybe one and a half year ago or something, I started to get more involved and was involved with several teams and and things like that uh, uh -huh. on, Binance, on Binance Smart Chain. And, and, then, and then basically one year ago, I started to, uh, with pen and paper uh, on what would become Shido, uh, started to, to, to work on it. And then it was more or less five months later uh, when it actually launched. So there was a lot mm -hmm. of pre-work going on with Shido. Okay. So that, and so uh, it, Yeah, that's, that's uh, super interesting because like you, you had a, a technical or a more of a management or a product uh, background? Uh, in uh, the domain of e-commerce, I mean, more specifically. Yeah, th that's the thing. I am very all-round because okay. I, when, when I worked with e-commerce, I worked also uh, in the marketing department and there was a lot of work with influencers, uh, mostly Instagram influencers. Mm -hmm. But, you know, it's the same kind of game when you get and then you work with crypto influencers. But okay, yes, for sure. That's the same. But it's the same, yeah. like... It's the same. But there are there and, maybe are slight slight differences and uh, adaptations to 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 call them uh, a word. But yeah, the mechanics uh, are the same. Okay, that's interesting. And we see on your page like you have a big list of people that are cooperating on the project, uh, and you guys are all docs. So do, do you want to tell us uh, who are the the core team uh, members uh, and uh, well maybe uh, just a uh, a little. Uh, sentence a little pa passage on uh, how you guys decided and how you guys got to know each other, each other and you started working on uh, on Shido. Yeah, it's pretty interesting because uh, I am actually I am the only person that is still in the team from the launch. And uh -huh. uh, and the rest of the team is new actually. Um That's crazy. So yeah, so when I launched uh, in early March on Binance Smart Chain, it was with uh, Binance Smart Chain people I knew. Uh, was yeah. a couple of with a couple of devs I knew, and uh, with a, a couple of other people. But you know, 
eventually they uh, they went on and did other things and got yeah. a couple people I you know not got rid of but you know uh, changed for uh, yeah for it's normal I mean I, and, you know it's this constant it doesn't always work right. right? No, exactly, and it's this constant evolve involvement mm -hmm. of the organization. Cool. Yeah, that's uh, super cool, and and like in this case, it paid paid off. I mean, uh, as far as understood uh, in your in your current situation, because you have like uh, an healthy economy, you have established uh, your community, you're you're releasing a product, so your uh, perseverance paid off, uh, Bjorn, at the end, right? Yeah, definitely. There was a you know, we when we launched, then it went up pretty fast. Uh, the first maybe ten days or something, we went from a three k market cap to one point eight million in your wow. in your ten days or something. And the, yeah. but the problem, the liquidity was very low because we started yeah. so low. So it went down pretty fast. And then okay. and then after that, uh, we were down at. I don't know, 150, 200k market cap for quite a long time, um, uh, and and just build, just kept on building and kept on. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and during that time there was periods, you know, with uh, low volume, you know, uh, you know, lack of belief, and you know, there, there was tough times, but you know, there was still this plan that we kept going, uh, you know, according, uh, and eventually, you know, we started to pick up speed again. And, uh, yeah, but nice. during, nice but story, during, that time, during that time, you know, there was some other developers on quite big projects on, uh, Binance. They were, you know, trying to ask me to come over there to their project. They asked about yeah. the relaunch and they, you know, what are you going to do now, Bjorn? And I was like, what do you mean what are you going to do now? I'm going to do Grande something. It's, it's, it's no question about it. And I, wow. you know, and there's always holders. doesn't matter if you are 150K market cap. You have a day with very low volume. There's still holders there uh, holding for you. And, you know, you, you, I feel you always have a responsibility for them. What are you going to do? Say, okay, bye, I'm done with this. I mean, that, that, yeah. that, that was never an option. Uh, this option as well uh, maybe was helpful for you in the sense that you met uh, people people more suitable, more, more in line with your vision, right? Uh, and uh, there's a list, guys, if you're interested on, on, uh, on Shido website, uh, there's a list uh, of the, the, the team members with their own socials uh, and, uh, and you can go and have a, and have a peek there. Like... Uh, I mean, this maybe is a question that you've been asked uh, already, but like, looking at the list, normally when I research projects, I don't know anyone, right? It's normal. Only one time it happened that I knew uh, uh, one of the advisors in one of the projects that I researched, so it was funny. But this time uh, I've seen Travelad, right? So Travelad is, uh, is, uh, the, is the, the owner of the channel, I guess, is him, right? <clears throat> Travelad, um, yeah. owner of the channel. Uh, I don't know, no, but he's he's uh, he's deeply involved in Shido, and uh -huh. he's heavily he's heavily invested himself. He is, uh, I mean, he has cool. Shido on his on his bio on Twitter, and we I talk to him every day, and uh, he uh, he's very involved in the development of the project and. Cool. Really happy about that because he's uh, he's very experienced. He has a lot of connections. I mean, if you need something, yeah. you can just ask him, and and he make it happen. And uh, um, and he all he he has a huge follower base. Also, you know, yeah. it's, he he is um, constantly promoting us, uh, which is also good, of course. And it's yeah. just a good synergy, and and uh, we. Um, we That's have cool. actually become very good friends by now, so uh, I'm cool. really happy about that. Yeah, sure. And uh, uh, for example, uh, you have uh, also like uh, developers in uh, in the team, right? So you're you're developing everything in the team, or maybe only the solidity part, and then the the, the apps uh, outside. How how does that work for you guys? 
Yeah, um, that's the thing we're gonna add on the website because we have outsourced. We are we are partnering with a, a top thirty blockchain development company called Anti Air Solutions, mm. and they are doing all our development. Uh, we own our all utility. I mean, it's uh, it's on our servers yeah. and things like that. But they they doing the coding and they doing the. Um, Mm-hmm. Uh, this yeah, I picked a little bit in in that section. Yeah, so maybe we can go back uh, on this because it's really interesting. But first, maybe we can start talking about the product uh, and the different the different aspects of the project. Okay, if that's okay with you. Yeah. So, uh, what's the source? Uh, uh, what's the core behind uh, Shido? What's the idea? Um. The idea is, uh, you know, complete ecosystem, meaning uh, a blockchain and the core uh, products in DeFi. And for me, that's, uh, you know, uh, decentralized exchange, uh, mm-hmm. decentralized wallet, and not just a decentralized exchange, like a swap, also you know, uh, marg- uh, cross-margin protocol uh, for leverage and aggregation protocol, liquidity protocol, limit protocol, and all the whole uh, uh, package. But uh, mm, but also uh, NFTs and NFT marketplace. We have an NFT marketplace up and running and uh, NFTs also. And, uh, um, and also we are touching a bit on uh, P2E gaming. Uh, we, ha- we have a game. Uh, that is nearly finished in uh, in development, and we haven't talked about it much. But that's something that uh, will unfold also. But in some way, for us, it started with the wallet. Not that it was the most cheapest and easiest to do, but it's some kind. It kind of starts with it because most people use a phone and a, a, mm-hmm. a mobile application. So we started with the wallet, and then you know go from there because then under the wallet. It will be a decentralized exchange, a DEX, a, a swap that powers the wallet. And under that, it will be uh, uh, in the bottom, a blockchain. So um, yeah. we are Anyways, doing... Uh, Bjorn, I feel like there are like so many pieces. You went through all of them in a super high level overview. So maybe now let me guide a sort of excavation and find the different... Uh, the different pieces because I have I have a few questions on each uh, of the of the portions uh, of the project yeah. itself. So you you said that you, you said now that the wallet is really interesting. The wallet was a little bit the first uh, the first stone. Uh, a lot of projects actually are are like uh, are starting like this. I, uh, I'm sincerely not an expert on the different types and different features and what could distinguish one from the other. So my first question that comes to mind is uh, uh, what's the, the main drive for that you believe will uh, convince someone to use your wallet instead of uh, just MetaMask or Trust Wallet or I don't know, whatever is already around? Yeah, as you say, you see a lot of projects now um popping out wallets, and, you know, you have, you know, SafeMoon, they have a wallet, Saitama, they have a wallet, and, you know, uh, like that. But I see a lot of these wallets are uh, quite, uh, uh, I don't know, quite simple, nothing really extra. Mm. And and uh, for us, um, we have the cross-chain swap is uh, a very good feature that we have. You yeah. can swap Ethereum for BNB with just a click. So you're not stuck on a chain like you are on on MetaMask or Trust Wallet, uh, because if you have a BNB and you maybe you want to buy an Ethereum project, then you can just swap uh, a BNB to eat and uh, and you can and you are on the Ethereum chain. So, you know that's mm-hmm. that's <laughs> one thing. Instead of was... swapping, uh, for example, BNB for wrapped Ethereum, you can actually buy Ethereum on Ethereum. Uh, blockchain right yeah exactly and then you can buy an uh then you can buy a token that is uh deployed on ethereum uh you're not stuck on buying smart chain um but then Mm. we also have put a lot of emphasis uh on the uh, the the fiat solutions where we have both an on and off wrap so you can 
withdraw money also to your bank account. You don't have to go to Binance and withdraw funds uh, uh, to your bank account. You can do it from mm-hmm. di- directly from the DeFi wallet. Sure. But th- that's that's kind of the start. But because now we have the decentralized exchange, which is a very big build, and we are bringing the whole decentralized exchange into the wallet. So you are going to be able in our wallet to trade all tokens imaginable, and you're going to be able to place limit orders, you know, at a predetermined price. You are going to be able to trade perpetuals uh, in the DFI wallet, and that is non-existent in the mm-hmm. DFI wallets today. It's not even close of what's existent. Uh, and, and, and we are near. So sorry if I cut you, but it's a really nice segue to what I was thinking uh, as well before when I asked you a little bit what's the the idea behind the project. Uh, for me, uh, when I was reading your your own page, right, uh, you, you have a sentence that got a little bit uh, highlighted to my eyes that you said that this is, uh, uh, go, you guys are going to provide some services that only centralized exchanges are offering. And you touched uh, uh, a little bit uh, about these services instead while describing the wallet. So we are, we are talking about uh, uh, fiat uh, withdrawals and uh, uh, purchases. So you can, you can buy uh, and sell to fiat. And uh, but before, like uh, moving even further on this uh, on this uh, topic, uh, the wallet uh, is, uh, and this is something that you will need to help me. And I guess that maybe some people have the same doubt. But the wallet is non custodial. It means that you guys are not going to be uh, air quotes uh, owners or responsible for the tokens, right? That's why it means non custodial. Yeah, it means that you don't have any custody over mm. anything. And that means okay. all type of data. It means the funds. It means a personal information. It, need, okay. it means yeah. passwords. It means you have no custody over anything. You're just yeah. providing a tool for the user to, to read the blockchain. And, and, yeah. and the, the user has, uh, you know, uh, full responsibility or control, you sure. can say. Or, now, this or, question, you see where this question comes from, right? Because what we what we witnessed uh, uh, the last, uh, let's say, shameful uh, show that <laughs> we were we were obliged to look, to look at, right? So that's important as well to underline the fact that that's uh, what uh, probably one of the main differences that I've seen uh, between you guys uh, and a service that could be something like FTX, which is a uh, uh, offering kind of the same service that you want want to offer, but then uh, there were different, let's say, situations uh, that were collect- connected as well to where the tokens are, uh, and uh, that's important. Uh, I guess it was a lesson for everyone, right? But yeah. um, another thing, right? So. Uh, we talked about withdrawals and uh, uh, purchase with fiat uh, and uh, visa cards, right? But uh, also about and one thing that ex- that is ex- exciting for me are uh, more advanced uh, uh, tools for uh, advanced uh, uh, trading and uh, as well advanced products. Uh, I was excited for the stop uh, for the stop loss uh, and limit uh, order functionalities, so that eventually you you will get if the chart rips through that, it will sell automatically. That's exciting, yeah. and there are not many uh, products right now offering the thing. And moreover, it's really expensive, at least the one that I know. So um, uh, you said that um, that. Your, your fees in general will be... Ah, another thing that uh, I wanted to ask you, this is more important. Uh, you guys offer directly as well uh, I, IBAN and SWIFT uh, bank transfers directly from your, let's say, wallet or uh, your... Uh... Yeah, this is the next big kind of integration that is coming now ah, in, yeah, that's in cool, mid-December. Though. And we are launching a full-on Shido MasterCard. And this has been a uh-huh. thing we have uh, built on uh, for a long while with partners and banks. And this is not an, 
you know, quick task. And um, so we are going to launch uh, Shido Mastercard and it's going to be uh, really a game changer because you are going to be able to spend your crypto in real life uh, yeah. with no, no pre-conversion needed from crypto. And there will be no gas fee also on the transaction. So I, meaning, I mean, if you buy a can of soda for 50 cents, you cannot ba- pay the Ethereum gas fee for that. <laughs> it's going to yeah. be the most expensive soda. So we also have a solution for that, you know, when we are taking the crypto, um, not on chain, but off chain uh, without any, uh, any gas uh, so this is uh, this is gonna uh, this is a really big thing that's coming the Shido Mastercard and it's uh, I'm getting so many emails and things like that from people and other projects also are interested and and you know because you have now you know Coinbase card you have Crypto.com card you have Binance card and, and yeah. things like that and we are coming with the Mastercard that's going to be uh, available in over 150 countries worldwide. You can issue it in China, in Japan, you know, Mexico, you name it, and uh, uh, and start using um, your crypto in, in real life. So uh, this is a really uh, a big thing that's coming, um, uh, and and with that you are getting uh, a bank account in in China wallet. So you are you are able to do uh, bank transfers. Also, you are able to go from crypto to fiat with just a click. Uh, to that bank mm-hmm. account in the wallet, um, so you you are going to be able to pay you know uh, your uh, your bills you know uh, with bank transfer if you like that. But it, uh, it's important to point out that it, to 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 be able to do this, you have to do a one time a one time KYC. But you know this okay. whole, this whole card and banking service within the wallet is just optional. And it, and it doesn't make Shido Wallet no, uh, custodial because Shido Wallet, uh, non-custodial DeFi Wallet is still going to be there. And if you want to use a Shido card and banking solution, you can do that. And you do that with uh, a third party within the wallet. We do not do the KYC. I will not sit and look at, you know, uh, passports all day. Um, so, um, so this is just an optional service. It will make it a hybrid wallet. And, uh, a, a DFI and a CFI wallet in one, you know. So that's okay. what will happen because there is no, if you're going to do a MasterCard or Visa card or bank account or anything like that and you're entering the traditional banking system, there is no way around a KYC. It's just, uh, yeah. it's, un- it's anti-money laundering, uh, AML law, it's all that and you, there is no way around it. And here, Bjorn, here we are touching on a subject that I would I would have liked to touch a little bit later. I would like first to finish uh, the the list of let's say functionalities that I was excited uh, to to hear about. Uh, not maybe directly, but mm, because uh, there are like instruments uh, in the let's say uh, as well uh, traditional market that are mimicked. Uh, are not yet mimicked, are not yet uh, uh, available in DeFi. And I'm talking about you guys are, are also giving the possibility of, uh, of uh, playing futures and, and uh, with leverage too, and also uh, loans. So, so different uh, DeFi banking, uh, DeFi finance uh, services. But can you explain us exactly or, or more or less uh, what is a perpetual? Because I've seen that you guys uh, mentioned this as one of the the, the different, let's say, uh, things that someone could do uh, through your services. I understand that the concept of leverage, shorting, yeah, uh, collateralized loans, yes. But what, what's a, per- a perpetual contract? I mean, it's a future contract. It's, it's ah, you know, okay, that's, yeah. how, that's how you get. That's how you can do okay. and you uh, you put your uh, crypto as collateral uh, to amplify uh, the trade and and, mm-hmm. and can do several excess. So uh, so and and you know but uh, and and that I want to say that that we have announced that is launching our perpetual dex is launching tomorrow. So that is a, a big launch okay. that is coming tomorrow from Shido. 
but you know that is uh, that is uh, something that is uh, that that exists. You know, you have uh, mm-hmm. Didex, for instance, uh, is a big decentralized uh, exchange where you can trade uh, perpetuals. So it's not okay. like okay, it's not like okay, Shido, they come uh, with perpetual decentralized Dex for perpetuals. Uh, it, it's not like okay, it's non-existent and. And then, uh, but you know, we are coming with a, um, a perpetual deck that is really good. You know, that that's the thing. It's really good, and you're gonna be able to trade over hundred assets, and you're gonna be able to do leverage up to two hundred x, and and it's gonna be deep liquidity from our liquidity partner, and it's a really good perpetual deck, and uh, and that's uh, that's you know that that that's the story of it, uh, uh, because it's not like okay. So BMW, they make a car. So does that mean that Mercedes-Benz should not make a car? You know, you cannot. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. There's that. You, you know what I mean? You don't. You You're don't talking have, about competition. Yeah, you don't have to come with something that is a completely new thing. Otherwise, you shouldn't do it. You can still do something, and you do it good, and you attract users, and you keep build on it. You know, uh, um, but the thing is, for us, this is a part of our ecosystem, and it's an important part to offer this kind of trading, which there is a demand for. And we, I mean, kind of Shido is uh, offering everything under one roof. Uh, that's the whole. That's the whole idea that you shouldn't need to go anywhere else. You shouldn't need to, okay, I go to Uniswap to, to make a swap. And then I go to DDX to do some perpetual trading. And then I go there to do that. You just going to be, you just have to go to Shido and that's it. And then you have everything you need. I see the point, uh, but there was indeed a question from, uh, uh, one of our, uh, I take some questions from the chat, the best ones yeah, that, I, that. that I managed to pick. Uh, and I try to put them in the right place. And this is, I think, really, really appropriate. Uh, Selim Saiki, he or she is asking, uh, what happened during the bankruptcy process of FTX revealed how important the centralization is? Of course, after the events, uh, the interest in the decentralized finance has also increased, true. What do you think about this subject also? Can you say that Shido is really decentralized? So she's, she already is like... Uh, uh, testing you to see your opinion uh, on uh, this topic uh, and also how a product that tends to centralize services can, can still be considered decentralized uh, and where the this, this decentralization aspect comes from, yeah, if it makes it, sense. Yeah, it, it makes sense. It's an interesting question, you know. The inevitable all kind of happened, you know. I mean, centralized exchanges has defaulted from left to right all the time, but they, they were not big enough for anybody really to care. And now when there was a, a big enough collapse, mm-hmm. it finally made, you know, Binance and other act and Kraken and things like that to do some kind of proof of reserve. So finally there is some... Um, you know, mm-hmm. development in this area, which was not forced upon by uh, regulations. And this I like to see that, you know, the space can develop without, you know, an other authority as a government go in and tell us what to do. And, you know, what we are seeing now is basically we don't need any regulation because we, we are stepping up the game ourselves because it has been the Wild West. But now we're going to start uh, uh, with this proof of reserve and other things. Uh, but you know, it has come. It comes with a cost of suffering for a lot of people, which is very unfortunate. But happily, there is, will be some good coming out of it. And you know, there has to be more transparency because it, you cannot go on like that. You know, and people have no clue what's going on in the centralized exchange, and you know, all of a sudden, it, everything is just gone. It, it, that, that's just absurd. Um, and so, uh, but I mean, if if we if we look at Shido, I mean, the we we don't hold custody of anything. Most important is if you go in and read our privacy policy, it's clearly stated 
uh, that we don't collect any data. Uh, and we have no clue. We, we don't collect mm -hmm. any password or seed phrases or anything like that. So uh, you, you are in complete control yourself. And, you know, that is equal to decentralization because it's yours. Uh, yeah, you sure. are the owner and no one else. It's, it's, will, uh, will uh, ownership, it's ownership, the real uh, uh, focus uh, of decentralization is not actually the services themselves uh, that are in the same, uh, let's say, package, but is the fact that you have uh, control over your own finances, uh, over your tokens, right? Yeah, so. th th that's a big thing. But, you know, you could say also, like, uh, you, may, you can say that a DAO is decentralized, you know, and mm. you can say that, okay, here is a, um, a decentralized exchange and, you know, the parameters are voted upon in DAO, meaning everybody has a saying, meaning basically there is no centralized authority that decides what's going on in this decentralized exchange. And that, that, that is even more decentralization. But, you know, what we have seen with DAOs uh, is that, that, you know, in general, there has been, you know, a few wallets that controls a lot of the supply. Hence, they control the voting, you know, on one inch, for instance, when you have venture capital, they basically decides what's the parameters going to be in the DAO because... Uh, yeah. The rest that the, the rest that's voting on it, uh, they don't have enough voting power. So you know, you see that, uh, you see that many, you see that the small holders they are voting to to lower the the transaction fee from zero point three percent, but it's not getting lowered. It has been zero point three percent all the time because that's what the venture capitalists want. Uh, because they are earning the money and they feel that, like that's the sweet spot for the transaction fee. Then you can ask, is that decentralized? You know, but you know, it is because it's still, you know, the token holders of one inch that get the chance to vote upon it. But you know, it's, it is what it is. Um, yeah. But you know, I think, I think that you can easily uh, create a, an unfair DAO. I mean, everyone is thinking, okay, is DAO then is fair? No. It depends, right? Well, that's what we're saying. Yeah, but um, what I'm saying that it is decentralized with, uh, you know, you are in control of your funds, uh, you know, because if you look at the, if you zoom out to a bigger picture, you, mm. you are not forced to use one inch if you don't want to. You don't have to connect to that DApp. You can choose another DApp. So, you know, as long as you can choose freely among the DApps, it's decentralized because then you just choose another alternative. But if you're on Binance, you have no choice where to swap. You swap on Binance mm -hmm. because that's it, and uh, and they decide. So it's uh, completely centralized. But if you have your own funds, you can go wherever you like with your business. You just connect with the D app. Uh, so 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 that is in the end, you know, uh, decentralization somehow uh, because it's hard you know, to, to decentralize a protocol because someone is going to own the protocol, but no one is forcing you to, to, to use the protocol if you don't want to. So in the end, the market will decide uh, what, what, what will be used or not. Oh. Um, so, yeah, it's... Um, uh, but, yeah, I don't... I, 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 maybe I got off question there, but... Uh, no, no, don't worry, don't worry. It was really interesting to touch this, but now we created the context for my, let's say, I guess the, the actual focus question, because uh, I've seen that this uh, uh, has been uh, uh, answered uh, as well in our chat, and specifically by Jack024, uh, and he's asking, my question is, uh, my question, is the MasterCard already approved? Which main merchant provider are you using above Shido? And where is your LLC formed? So this ties in a little bit with my own question, which was about regulations uh, and how, guy, how you guys managed to, and if you guys are com compatible and uh, uh, respecting all the yeah. different and several laws, uh, you, you have lawyers that are helping you. How does that work uh, yeah, at the core for you? Yeah, there's a lot of people fishing 
after our partners uh, usually we tend to uh, reveal which partners we have so it's uh, you know fully transparent but in this case we have been we have decided not to reveal you know all partners that is uh, uh, involved in the mastercard because other projects uh, they want to do what we are doing and they okay. seem to you know don't know where to go and where to start and things like that but I, what i can say is I mean, if if if, uh, if it's if Mastercard approve a Shido user to issue a card, uh, I mean we have done a full KY, KYB with a US Bank, and we have done full KYB uh, with UK Bank. So we have in UK we have Barclays, and you know we are on board with Barclays in in, uh-huh. in UK. You know that's the bank we're working with. Um, uh, so, and uh, and Barclays and Mastercard. Uh, I can tell you that Barclays is following all regulation that is uh, out there, and okay. uh, they they take they have the banking license. The, the, it's their banking license uh, we are uh, you know operating under, and uh, and they vouch for us because we have done the KYB. So it's of course. Uh, uh, fully according to all uh, regulations. Um, so that's, uh, that's you know, uh, when you get, um, you can get several bank accounts inside China Wallow. You can get for Euro, you can get for USD or Japanese Yen if you want also. Um, and that's, that bank account you are going to get uh, instantly uh, is uh, at Barclays in UK. Uh, if you are a US citizen, you will get it, you will get uh, in the uh, with the with the branch in the US, uh, so that's okay. that's you know the the partner uh, we have there, and also um, we are we have um, we're gonna do Visa also, but but Visa will come a little bit later, and Visa will only be available for thirty countries, so it will be full on for Europe. Uh, okay. Visa Visa is a little bit more complicated, takes a little bit longer time. And, and things like that. That's why it will come uh, beginning of next year, uh, Visa card. But it, it doesn't really matter because MasterCard, they have a little bit less merchants. I know Visa has, uh, I think, 60 million merchants and MasterCard has more or less around 45 million merchants. But uh, mm-hmm. that's a lot of merchants. You know, basically all merchants uh, except the MasterCard uh, no doubt about it. So, uh, so that's why we have the focus on the Mastercard brand at the moment. That's it's called Shy the Mastercard because also because Visa will only cover thirty countries, so we will cover over one hundred and fifty countries with the Mastercard. But that's that's, 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 that's cool. I it to, must be really think... difficult. It must be. I understand it. It must be a maze uh, of uh, of regulations and whatsoever. So. I don't envy the, the the guy who's working on these uh, on these things. <laughs> so no, props, I can tell you. A, yeah, no, but the LCC is uh, is based in Sweden, uh, which is also okay. you know uh, uh, a proper country, so to speak. So um, and uh, and you know, it's a lot of paperwork. It's it's not just that. one page you're signing. It's hundreds <laughs> of pages. And, you know, there's a lot of things you need to send in and things like that. So it's just, uh, yeah, it's a lot of, yeah, it's a lot of work. uh, Well done with that. Well done. But uh, there's another question that is lingering around in my mind and in the chat too. Uh, And it was, let's say, formulated uh, by Comety RPM. So we talked about a little little bit of stop losses, a more advanced DeFi services whatsoever. Also, you mentioned that you're you're going to build uh, your own chain, and I know as well that you're going to eventually implement as well a bridge, which you which you think about, which you think it would be uh, gasless or fee-less and whatsoever. So, Comet is asking, uh, you place a stop, uh, you place a stop loss order. If I use this method, uh, will it be free? and not using fees or taxes from what we earn. So can you talk a, a little bit about uh, your ideas regarding fees uh, and uh, uh, how you plan uh, to 
But because finally, what we saw as well at a certain point with Binance, FTX, whatever, was a, was a sort of gas force with with centralized exchange trying to uh, get more user with by lowering the fees or, or not having any any fee. But that's not even that good because they didn't have the income then. So, w- what do you, what's your opinion about uh, uh, about fees fees balance, if you wish? Um. I mean, it has to be sustainable, so it's uh, you. You kind mm-hmm. of end up. Um, you can see that. I mean, um, if you look at Pancake Swap, they have zero point twenty five percent, and we and One Inch have zero point three percent, and and we will have zero point three percent. But you know, we're gonna be. You you need to understand the allocation of this percent because we we are the project that actually will have. Uh, the lowest revenue because we will allocate uh, a large thirty uh, percent of that fee. We will allocate to burning of Shido, buyback and mm-hmm. burning of Shido, and then we will allocate a sustainable percentage of that fee uh, that goes to staking. Uh, so, so yeah. the stake in the liquidity protocol uh, is going to be sustainable. So, what Shido ends up with in the end, as you know, profit to keep the project going, is going to be much lower. Much lower than one inch, much lower than pancake swap. So even if our fee is 0.3% and pancake swap is lower, you gotta understand that uh, you get uh, a lot of things uh, is for uh, the current holders of Shido. So yeah. uh, we are actually, uh, you know, the you know the decks out there uh, that offering the best fee because uh, what goes in to shy the project is uh, uh, lower than anyone else. And you think you can be sustainable with, uh, with this level of uh, income eventually? Yeah, because or, if you look at it, uh, I mean, you, or you look at it. Or it's something that you plan to do for a certain amount of time at the beginning. No, it's possible to be sustainable. You know, okay. I mean, how much profit do you need? Look at one inch. They are pulling in, you know, it's tens of millions of dollars that just disappears in revenue out to the, the venture capitalists, the banks. Yeah. And you know, it's a lot of money. Do they really need that? They have already got their initial investment 10 times back, you know, when they funded the project with $12 million. They have got it back tenfold. Do they stop there? No, they don't. They keep, you know, raking in money. And, you know, then you can ask yourself, why don't they lower the fee to half? Why would they? They, they don't care. They don't care about you. They care yeah. about uh, earning money. So, yeah, it's definitely sustainable. We have come this far uh, with very, very low income, and we have built uh, amazing protocols now with very little funds available. And you can do that if you work smart and, you know, you, don't, you shouldn't maybe hire a developer on Upper East Side Manhattan <laughs> where the fee, uh, you know, where the rate is going to be crazy you always have to you know um uh, work smart and we have a we have a small team <laughs> that is very slim and uh, now the team is kind of big but you know we have uh, operated in the beer market with low volume yeah. all the time and we have been very careful uh with the expenses uh all the time because we have to and uh with this said you know it is possible for us to have a low fee because it's not like, you know, you, it's a service that is based on servers. I mean, it's not like we have a shopping mall where we have a ton of fixed costs, you know, plumbing and yeah. electricity. You know, you have a, we have Amazon Web Services and, you know, we, we're paying them money uh, to, you know, for our servers. But, you know, that's what you have. And then potentially for staff, you have... Uh, you you could possibly have you know some salary you have to pay, yeah. but sure, you know but... that's you know understand that's it. And so you can, if you're smart, it's uh, it's it's uh, of course you can it's you can you can glide uh, if you wish, uh, really 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 low key. And I, and I appreciate that because if I think that at, as well at uh, at uh, super high levels in terms of uh, market caps. Uh, uh, Similar companies have done super stupid this this waste of their own money. So that's really important to me. So it's a, it, we are approaching the hour mark, but 
Yeah. We touched uh, on uh, uh, a lot of topics regarding the ecosystem, but the people are curious. And for example, Abima, Abima knew he or she is asking for some people, they have their own difficulties in using application related to NFT due to the lack of understanding and difficulty of the application, uh, of the uh, difficulty in using the application substantially. So how does that shadow market NFT deliver information that is easy for user to understand and digest? With the feature, uh, with, with the features will be simple and uh, is, uh, and uh, is the user given some is, some instruction before before using the application? So is he or she's interested in yeah, the yeah. NFT marketplace? Uh, yeah. And we, and what so are your vision and what are your visions and ideas about it? Um, I mean, um, the the idea is not to compete with OpenSea, and it has not been, mm. you know, because there are projects out there that just is an NFT marketplace, and that's you know they sure. focus on the development on the marketplace we we started our marketplace to provide our own nfts and also it's going to be a marketplace that is involved with the p2e game so uh. Uh, it's it's basically the uh, the idea has been for our you know uh, our and the shadow nfts in the end because it's going to be that for the p2e game also but it's it scaled down to basically be as simple as possible to make it as easy yeah. as possible because it's just, you know, it's just, exactly. you can just connect your wallet and then you just easily uh, go into an NFT and then you can buy and then you can, you know, with two clicks, you can buy an NFT. Uh, it's just as easy as it can be, you know. Um, so, and, yeah. and, and so indeed, you mentioned exactly where I wanted to touch uh, uh, quickly too, because I know that what maybe we're talking about. Uh, uh, the, 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 the far roadmap uh, of the project. Uh, maybe you can give us an hint as well uh, regarding the, 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 the roadmap, uh, uh, also super high level. But you mentioned yourself uh, the uh, Shido game in which the main character will be Shido itself. Uh, so is, is Shido a ninja or something? Yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, it, it is a ninja. Um, <laughs> okay. <laughs> uh, the, 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 that's a, um, a fighting game. Uh, okay, like Mortal um, Kombat. Like. Yeah, exactly. Oh. Uh, it's a, a 3D fighting game, and you're gonna okay. be able to to uh, uh, game on your um, on your phone. But with robots as well. Uh. Uh, because sorry? I've seen an image somewhere in which there were there was also a robot here, for example. You see on uh, my screen. We, we, uh, no, we are working on the character. We have several characters now. We, you know, okay. we have. We, we thought a while that we do the, you know, the Shiba character, uh, Shiba Inu character, and things like that. Uh -huh, and we we're gonna okay. be able to fight others, but um, and we have some different characters uh, that you can choose okay. to, to be, That's and cool. you can you can be the the Shido Ninja, and then you're gonna be able to fight other users, and you're gonna be able to put up you can put up you can put up one BNB and invite someone to fight you uh, for one BNB, and then the other guy <laughs> just, like just straight BNB. like that. Yeah, that's cool. Uh, Isn't and it then like winner, uh... Winner, uh, winner takes it all? You know, two BNBs. <laughs> Uh, isn't it like uh, a little bit like, uh, and I don't know, it's the first time that I think about this, but isn't it something like as well, uh, similar to betting and uh, may have to be, uh, to have the same process that you guys had with the credit card in a sense, uh, like, you know, there are betting sites and whatsoever, but, or here there, it's not needed because it's a, a user against user kind of. Yeah, uh, yeah, it's, uh, yeah, exactly. It's peer to peer and uh, it's, you know, own chain. So uh, uh -huh. it's not, it's not any, you know, it's, decent, it's decentralized and, you know, the, the funds get locked in uh, a smart contract and then, you know, the winner, uh, you know, um, okay, it's activated in the smart contract and then you can withdraw the funds. So it's all you know, decentralized finance uh, uh, in the end. But that game, I mean, it's going to be cool. It's uh, it, it, it's uh, going to be fun. But, it, but it's also, you know, it's also, I mean, we are building utility that uh, brings revenue. And, you know, if you look at Axie Infinity and... But the, the, the one that we see in the background is the game itself. Huh? 
Uh, yeah, it's uh, no, it's uh, a little bit of it, but uh, there is also some other things. Uh, the gaming studio uh, made, uh, you know, uh, it reminds this is, me a little a, bit, you know, the Ascent K. This is an old video. We have new videos ah, now okay. from the gaming studio that had some. Cool, but uh, it looks good. It looks good. It reminds me about the the, the games I, w- I used to play in the arcades, like. Uh, Neo Geo and, and stuff like that. Yeah, and th- and that's uh, that's a little bit the idea, you know. It's it's gonna yeah. be you know this classical uh, classic combat game, uh, cool. uh, which is you know addictive and fun and and quite easy to to you know to manage. Um, okay. Yeah. So um, this answers as well a little bit uh, to the question that Crypto Gabriel asked. Uh, he actually he actually asked uh, three questions. Uh, the first one uh, was uh, about NFTs, uh, and uh, he asked, "Will the team add features in an NFT marketplace where investor can tokenize images in, into a DNFTs them by themselves?" Uh, which is a trend that we have seen uh, recently in some of our AMAs. So, other uh, features, as far as, under, as we understood, and correct me if I'm wrong, Bjorn, but the, the idea is to keep it as, as, as simple as possible, right? So Yeah, uh, but no. you know, the, uh, we don't rule out anything in the future, but you know, people, oh, yeah, can, look, sure. people can look at Shido and, and think like they are doing too much. They have too much going on. But then, then, you know, then it's like, let me explain. You know, we have an NFT marketplace fully functional uh, that is a great marketplace, uh, but that's not, you know, where, where the focus is at ra- right yeah. now to put time and develop you know we have it and it's yeah. up and running and that's awesome but at the moment we're focusing on shido wallet and we're focusing on shido dex because that's the biggest focus we have at mm. the moment uh so it's not like we are going too wide and focus on things uh, that is irrelevant and that we should focus on less things and do that good because that that that's that's the right mindset to have, and that's what we are doing. Because you know, we, when it comes to the P two E game, we are working with uh, a gaming studio uh, with that, and they are doing the heavy lifting. You know, so sure. we we are still focusing on the core uh, DFI aspects of of Shido. That's cool. And also, like you see, next question. Uh, I don't know if you have time constraints, but I would like to 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 ask to answer at least three or four questions and maybe uh, go a little bit over the hour for uh, wrap up for wrapping up the session. So yeah, no, no, tell no me if you have a constraint. But yeah, uh, um, indeed, uh, there's uh, uh, actually the second question from Gabriel is really on uh, touches a little bit about a uh, little bit the topic you were dis- we were discussing right before. So. Peer to what uh, allows you to do what when the interaction is peer to peer with re- with respect to um, yeah legislation and laws and whatsoever is asking uh, about the fiat integration on and off ramp, uh, which is not possible for crypto restricted restricted countries. Uh, will the team consider having another feature that will solve this this difficulty, like having a P two P feature? So he's asking if maybe this will be possible as well uh, uh, for uh, uh, fiat uh, transactions. Um, well, I mean, now we have Mercurio as a partner and you can buy crypto up to uh, $1,000 non-KYC, but if you go above that, uh, it's demanded uh, a KYC. And uh, um, there are certain countries that uh, it's prohibited, you know, and uh, what we are doing now, we are adding Alchemy Pay uh, that, uh, that covers even some countries that Mercurio does not cover to, to expand it even further. Uh-huh. And, then, and then we will have, um, you know, Shido, uh, Shido MasterCard, which will be a bridge uh, fiat to crypto also, and that yeah. you know, will, co- will cover the area of over 150 countries. So you know we are we are co- we will cover as much as possible as much as possible yeah uh, and you know but if there is a country you know let's say north korea i mean we will not you know uh, we will you know we, we we cannot be you know exactly everywhere and but we try to be as worldwide as we possibly can you know 
That's awesome. Then we have as well another question from Mr. Boo. Uh, and uh, it's a straightforward question, but indeed it's interesting because like with the with the rapid changes that happen in the in the ecosystem, then I guess that everyone has uh, their own ideas uh, on how it will play. Uh, and specifically for people who are running a project, uh, maybe is even more the case, right? So he's asking, uh, where do you see yourself and Shido in one or two years? Uh, I see it's been a crazy first year for you, but when uh, can we new investors see the chart uh, and our investment from today and one, two years ahead? Uh, so he's asking, uh, I guess more focused uh, if you wish on the economic side, but I would like maybe a broader approach to this, uh, to this question, if you don't mind uh, yeah, talking yeah. a little bit about, about it. I mean, I mean, if it's, if, I mean, if in the, in the, in the perspective of a Shido holder, you know, it's basically, you know, you want the price, you want the Shido token to be crazy expensive because then, uh, then you have earned a lot of money. And, and w what it comes down to is the demand on the Shido token. And, you know, I have pointed out to this, that that's what we are building uh, as much as we can uh, to, we are building for increasing the demand of the Shido token. And that's how the whole decentralized exchange is set up, where um, the Shido token is the uh, governance and utility token. It works as connector with which all fees are based upon. And, you know, if we drive volume to the DEX, it means the demand of Shido will increase. So, you know, in the end, it comes down to um, if we drive volume to the DEX, you will see a crazy price action uh, on Shido. But if we are looking even further, uh, for me, it's a lot about Shido chain. You know, I hold it very dear and, and it's a big, rigorous build uh, with a lot of effort going into it. It's not, it's not just, you know, a BSC fork where you use a, a bridge service to get on the chain. It's not like that. We are really building it from the ground, uh, you know, with the, with the ideas of Cosmos, uh, but we are using Solidity and it's modular by nature. It's, it, <clears throat> we are building it uh, to have as much adoption as possible. And, you know, if, if we are starting to see adoption on Shido chain, because it's going to be a really good chain in terms of decentralization and speed and security, uh, then you will see a crazy demand on the native token C20 because there, uh, there will be a lot of deployment uh, on Shido chain. So I, w I, I want to see it uh, I, myself. I could see it as a, a top. I see no reason why it not could be a top 20 uh, coin in the cryptocurrency space, because that's the aim. Mm -hmm. That's what we are aiming for. And it's that's not, awesome. it's not, you, you can call me crazy, but I'm just, I'm a left-handed logician and there is a, a strategic logic plan for it. And we, uh, and we are walking it right now, but you know, uh, it, it takes time to build things, but as it looks now, mainnet, will uh, possibly go live on Shido chain in, in somewhere in May. And we will have an alpha testnet in February. We will have a beta testnet in March. And you know, you will see that there will uh, be a lot of things uh, happening the coming months regards of Shido chain. And it will be crazy bullish. That's awesome. That's, uh, it hyped me up. And uh, one last question uh, um, that's coming from uh, Kung. He's asking, will the ETH and BNB sides be equalized at some point or something? Or we should look at our token as one with combined circulation supply? So he's asking how, to, how does the two different tokens on the two different chains coexist and relate to each other? Um, and they, they, uh, we have a, an Ethereum bridge, or you can as well say a Binance Smart Chain bridge. Uh, um, and there is no liquidity in it now because we have felt that our short has been a little bit too volatile. So it's been too much arbitrage opportunities uh, yeah, when the bridge has been live. So a lot of funds have exited the project that way. 
but when the bridge is full of liquidity, uh, you, you can trade BEP20 Shido to ERC20 Shido in a one-to-one -one trade. And what happens when it's a one-to-one -one trade, you basically say yourself that it's worth equal. And what will happen is that they will settle at an equal market cap because there will be arbitrage. So uh, this okay. bridge is pegging uh, the two together. But, you know, there are other things that also pegs it together uh, because, you know, it's uh, the funds coming in from transaction tax, which is paying for utility development. It's ending up in the same, uh, in the same, you know, it's, it's, it's ended up at the project. So, and you know, when we market the project, we don't market one chain, we market the project as a whole. And, and also, uh, you know, when uh, Shido chain goes live, the Shido bridge that will bridge ERC20, BEP20, Shido onto Shido chain, you know, that will be a one-to-one -one trade also. So then it will also be worth uh, equal. So uh, the both tokens are, you know, considered as having equal value. Uh, so basically when... You know, you could say that when uh, when one of the tokens are cheaper, that's a bit of a discount then. Uh, but uh, um, but yet, but the bridge is connecting together. That's the that that's the main point. Okay, guys. So um, just a shout out, a shout out to a shout out to Shido Queen and uh, and uh, that I see that she's helping or is helping. Uh, uh, replying to to questions in the chat, so that's uh, that's always a much appreciated because there are always so much meat in there that I hardly can go through them all. So uh, thanks for that. And uh, well, at this point uh, of the session, normally I look back uh, at my notes to see if we if I forgot something. I think we touched pretty much uh, everything except for the fact that. Uh, you guys are about or just released uh, an NFT collection, right? Or, I mean, it's already gone yeah, or is, the, uh, is about to come? No, that's crazy. I think it's actually sold out in hours. Already? We, re we released an NFT collection of 444 pieces. And then... 444, four, four, you said? Huh? Yeah, 444. Four, four. And it had okay. a couple of use cases. And it's going to be NFT staking in Shido Dex, the liquidity protocol. And then you, are, if you hold this uh, new NFT Shido coin, it's called, uh, you're going to be eligible for an airdrop of SHI-20 tokens when Shido Chain launch. So these NFTs sold out, I think, in just a few hours. And so they are gone already, I think. So... Uh, so yeah, that was crazy. Um, uh, when when will we launch the, the the your own blockchain, right? Sorry, I got to sleep. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, when you will launch your own um, blockchain, right? The 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 tokens that are now on uh, on uh, BSC and ETH will uh, will be the the liquidity will be migrated to. How will it work? You will have another token which is which is native on your chain, and then it's gonna be uh, yeah, no. swappable through bridges. How will it yeah. work? You will add liquidity. Yeah, no, no the, 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 the all liquidity will not be removed. There will be liquid, liquidity on Uniswap, and there will be liquidity on mm. Pancake Swap, and uh, uh, and the tokens that we have now they will live on forever. You know, the contract okay. will be there forever, and. Uh, uh, the BEP20 and ARC20 uh, Shido will be there forever. And what's happening with the chain is you basically, you, the token holder, you get the possibility to convert, uh, convert it to C20. And it's just optional, you know. Okay. Uh, but you get that possibility. And you also get the possibility of wrapping your Shido to, to wrap Shido and mint a wrapped token on Shido chain if you don't want to migrate it to a sheet 20. Um, so that's, it's up to you because you are the token holder and you, you are being, you, we're giving you the opportunity to migrate it on to Shido chain uh, and you will have the native currency, but you don't have to if you don't want to. We have burned the liquidity. Uh, you know, the liquidity is burnt. So the liquidity will be there on PancakeSwap and Uniswap. 
So you you will be able to to swap uh, for Ethereum or Binance ah, or, or BNB. Yeah, another thing, Bjorn, I've seen uh, on your website that you mentioned that you've locked the liquidity for 100 years. Uh, yeah, and uh, it should if it says that somewhere. Uh, it needs to be changed because we burned, okay. we sent all LP tokens uh, to that to that uh, uh, to okay. that address, and uh, so the, it's burned. And I think it might be somewhere on the website that it's still not uh, changed. Okay, this is important. Okay, cool. Yeah, yeah. I'm not. I don't remember right now where I've seen it, but I also sent a screenshot in my group, so I'm pretty sure there's a there's at least one mention still around. Yeah, I'm gonna, nice to know. Yeah, I'm gonna change it. Really nice to know. And uh, well, now, Bjorn, I think I went through pretty much uh, the, the, the best questions. We touched all my topics. Uh, and uh, at this point in the sessions, we usually give uh, access uh, to, our, uh, to our audience and community and, uh, well, uh, give you the space to address them and uh, uh, propose, again, some details or uh, some info that you may want to leave us with. Uh, yeah, I mean, if someone wants to ask a question, I'm here. So, um, um, if that's what you meant. No, no, I meant if you want to uh, give some closing oh, yeah, yeah. statements, well, closing right? statement, yeah, of course, sorry. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, no, no uh, I, uh, um, no, you know, I really enjoy this. And I think, as you said, we touched on a lot of things. And I like getting questions because I tend to start talking about things that uh, I usually do not talk about. Mm -hmm. uh, but in in terms of, of, of Shido, uh, I want it, you know, it's uh, it has always been about the utility. It has never been about uh, pump it uh, through hype yeah. and spend funds on marketing. It has never been like that. So it has been kind of, a, it has been a slow moon, mooner even though we have go the chart has gone up a lot recently, but that's just because we are coming closer to launches and people realize uh, that we will launch. Uh, that you are doing it seriously. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> and, and you know, we are doing it the right way. Yeah, but and then you and then the chart goes up and then it goes up again. And then, you know, people sit, you know, and we have a lot of followers on Twitter and Telegram, and they might think, you know, Am I, I don't want to buy the top. And then it goes up, and I don't want to buy the top. But, you yeah. know, for me, it's it's long term, you know. And, and also, I feel for interested investors, you know, you don't have to go, you don't have to go all in when you buy. I, I, I think in general, you should never do that. You, you could say, say you have $1,000 to invest. Maybe you should invest $200 and then you wait and see what happens. And then you DCA your way. Don't yolo, guys. Don't yolo. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> but, but, but I just want to, I, I want to say that in general to potential investors that it, it, Shido is long term and, and we have a long term vision and we are not uh, in a rush and we're not stressed out and and uh, we have a very good care of our financial situation and we have even though the market has gone down and down and the volume has been slow we have just keep kept going uh w without any you know difficulty really and uh, and we will continue to do so i i care about the market i i'm not the you know the CEO or developer that say I don't care about the price action. I care very much about the price action because uh, the holders care about the price action, and I care and about the holders are the project. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. So you mean it's just it's just, it would be so ignorant to say I'm not care about the price action. You know that I care fully about it, and um, uh, so uh, that's a little bit about you know that the focus is utility. And it's long term, and it's about producing revenue, bringing utility, and it's about producing things that people use. Uh, you know, because it's yeah, that's the most important thing. Because you you need to have a revenue to do whatever, right? So yeah, a, a but, lot of projects also, for me are lacking on this aspect. Uh, they don't they don't have a, a, a clear strategy about how to get some revenue and and, you know, play, I, and put it to profit. 
Yeah, but it's also, you know, I want to say also, we talked about FTX earlier. You know, it's, mm. it's a lot about the characters at the top. You know, if it's, agreed, <laughs> if it's a greed based project, you know, what, what, who is this Bjorn you know, guy? You know, because it very, it's very much things are dependent on me and the team, you know. So, sure. uh, it, 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 it's a, a lot about uh, that also, you know, too. And that's, that's why we have always done AMAs every week, every Thursday, being fully transparent, you know, always communicating what's going on. To ensure uh, trust, you know, and also we are showing now that we are not only like revenue, 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 because we are integrating PancakeSwap and Uniswap now into the wallet because it's a demand for it and we will not earn anything on it, but it's it's for the users, you know. Yeah, it's uh, it, it, it doesn't have to be like, and no, we're not going to do that because we will not earn on it. It's it's very much we can do that because the user wants because it. Because it's, it's useful, yeah, exactly. So it doesn't all, always have to be, uh, you know, uh, what's best financially. You know, it's uh, if you zoom out and you have a bigger picture, then you see some other things also uh, that's uh, that's important. Um, uh, but no, so that's uh, a little bit a couple of things I want to uh, uh, to highlight, and you know. I think we have shown also that, uh, you know, we have burned a lot of Shido manually. We are hard coding in, burning function in, uh, the, in the decks. And this is, you know, this is us uh, working for the holders, uh, you know, uh, wanting to create a positive price action for the token. And uh, uh, we are showing... Uh, by doing these things uh, that we, the, the token holders and the community is the number one priority and will always be. So uh, that I also want to point out. That was a great speech, man. Congrats. One of the best uh, outros uh, to one of my sessions ever. <laughs> So <laughs> well done, Bjarn, really. That's super good. And uh, so, guys, this was all about or something about, maybe not all, but we managed to cover out the ground. I'm satisfied. Shido Finance uh, with us in the house tonight. Uh, remember, if you have questions that did not get answered, fortunately, unfortunately we, don't have, we, ne we will never have enough time for all the questions. Please go to their Telegram, look for them, and uh, get interested in the project. And uh, yeah, Bjorn, so this is normally the time in which we do our own giveaway. So it's like uh, 30 seconds to one minute if you want to stay with us. Else, uh, uh, I, I repeat, it has been a, an absolute blast and pleasure to, to, to spend some time with you here. And thanks for that. Um, Thank you. And, Thank you very much. And now, uh, the winners, first of all, I would like to give uh, uh, two giveaways to our best questions uh, and best, let's say, questionnaires, if you wish. Tonight, uh, uh, Crypto Gabriel, uh, it came through with, it's rare that I get one quest, more than one question from the same person, but came through with good, good couple of questions. So, Crypto Gabriel, congrats. And uh, another another one I would like to, to, to give away to is Kung. It was an interesting question. I did not think about it at all. And then for our first uh, giveaway, for our last giveaway, sorry, let me start right now the mythical and epic uh, duck race. Uh, we always see like Elon Musk that starts really good. Tonight is keeping it up. Maybe it will be the first one, but no. Frankie with three E's at the end is the winner of tonight's uh, Duck race. So, uh, congrats to all the winners. Thanks to all of you guys for spending your time with us. It's uh, an honor for me, and I uh, love you all. Thanks again, Bjorn and Shido. Uh, we're gonna follow up. Uh, I hope in the future, since it's gonna be a long-term present presence in the space. And I wish you all a nice evening, morning, afternoon, wherever, whatever, and lots of love. I'll talk to you next time, guys. Ciao, Bjorn. Ciao, bye. Bye.